Oh. <laughs> uh, the act of honor. Oh, a transaction memorialized in an instrument prepared by a notary public, <laughs> evidencing a third person's agreement to accept uh, for the credit of one or more of the parties. <laughs> a bill that has been protested. <laughs> the UCC eliminated this type of transaction, the legal instrument setting forth the protest exceptions or payment. <laughs> now, um, I'm not quite sure who the UCC is. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I know they have what's known as a barcode system. Yeah. <laughs> Could you get me all the barcode readers everywhere in the world? Poop. And those that own them? Yes. <laughs> See, quite a long time ago, we were going to go with the barcode. Yes. Mm -hmm. And every item in the United States has a barcode. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And then uh, all these point of sales, they all have barcode readers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the barcode readers are designed uh, so as to tell you the price, but they also give a real-time inventory of the actual supplies of the retailers and the wholesalers. Yeah. <laughs> Now, it's quite a system, this UCC. Oh, the Uniform Child Custody Jurisdiction Act. Oh, Uniform Child Abduction Prevention Act. <laughs> the Uniform Arbitration Act. Yes. <laughs> this one's been violated during the arbitration. Oh, <laughs> this one was violated when you uh, gave my wife a dissolution of marriage in 2011. <laughs> this one was violated when I didn't get notice of court hearings for the dissolution of marriage. Oh. This one was violated when they moved to Brennan. Ooh, look at this Parental Kidnapping Prevention Act. <laughs> and then there's the Violence Against Women's Act where she didn't motion the court. <laughs> Could you have the full faith and credit of the United States Constitution as a VAWA? Yes. <laughs> when it wasn't the petitioner that petitioned, it was the county. <laughs> See, you have to have personal and subject jurisdiction. Yes. And you have to protect the due process rights of the respondent. <laughs> but since it wasn't the petition or the petition of the court, it was the county that did that. <laughs> Doesn't that violate the full faith and credit provisions of the United States Constitution? <laughs> now, you would say <laughs> it's kind of a point of debate, but I would say that it does actually violate the VAWA <laughs> for someone other than the petitioner to not petition the court, not acknowledge the, <laughs> well, this is what it says here. <laughs> Without acknowledging receipt of copy of this order because she didn't petition the court and you used a forgery, yes, it actually does violate uh, the the order being issued in accordance with the actual notice uh, with the full faith and credit provisions of the VAWA because the county decided to issue it as a motioning of the court without the petitioner right now. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about the full faith and credit provisions of the VAWA. <laughs> Now, for every state of the United States that's enforcing this, I told you, I'm going to sue every state of the United States right now. Every fucking one of you. See, when you, the petitioner did not sign the protection order, yes, did not appear in court, and he used a forgery to issue it, yeah. And then in the last few days, I've kind of been surmising, yes, that the county decided that they didn't want me to have my sons, yes. There are no provisions in the Violence Against Women's Act that the county can take it upon themselves to use the court to issue a protection order for 10 years <laughs> where the petitioner herself didn't petition the court. <laughs> now, if you really look at it, the petitioner, yes, personal and subject matter jurisdiction. Can the Superior Court of Clown County have personal jurisdiction when the county motions the court instead of the petitioner? <laughs> Can you have subject matter jurisdiction when the subject matter, oh, well, you can issue a temporary right protection order because of arrest or immediate threat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But obviously I was no threat. <laughs> My record was expunged. <laughs> so when you decided to issue it, did it violate the full faith and credit provisions of the United States uh, <laughs> Supreme Court? <laughs> and then for every state that's enforcing this, <laughs> aren't you all personally liable for allowing this to happen? <laughs> And then for every state that said, no, he can't sue us, <clears throat> when it is fully enforceable in every state of the United States, but it was fraudulently issued because the county motioned themselves using the petitioner's name <laughs> without any due process to myself, <laughs> without the actual laws being enforced, <laughs> and the use of a forgery, <laughs> holding my sons hostage because they were kidnapped, <laughs> are you absolutely sure every fucking motherfucking button?